Hey guys, it is Tori, and today I am going to be doing a very useful video, I think. And I'm going to be showing you all the things I would bring to summer riding camp or summer horse camp. I am heading off to camp this Sunday. It is currently Tuesday. So I have all my things packed, and I thought I would show you guys what I will be bringing. This kind of applies to really any riding camp, uh, English or Western. There are some things that are obviously geared to one discipline or the other. I will be going for six days from Sunday to Saturday, and here are all the things I'll be bringing with me. So I'm going to start off with riding stuff in case you guys are watching this just because you want to know what to bring as far as, you know, riding clothes and tack and things like that. So first thing and a very important thing, obviously, are your breeches. I personally will be bringing five or four pairs. I will be not be bringing my show breeches. I just have these here because you guys know I just filmed my breeches collection. I will not be bringing those, but I will be bringing four pairs. Um, I have a pair of tights um, and then through two pairs of front zips and a pair of side zips. These are just kind of, well, I mean, these are all of my breeches that I own. For anybody that has like 10 pairs, I would say if you want to be like, really um, prepared. You could bring a pair for every day. Personally, I only own four pairs, so I'm only bringing four, but I would say you definitely don't need more than four or five at the most. The next thing that, <clears throat> the next thing that is important to bring is your helmet. Now, if you're, you know, just kind of starting out riding or you don't take lessons, this is your first time riding maybe, um, you might not own your own helmet, but if you do, definitely bring it because finding a helmet that fits your head perfectly is a really important thing and the camp you're going to may not have a helmet that's going to fit you perfectly. So I will be bringing my helmet, of course. I actually have two helmets, but um, this is the one I'm going to be bringing because it is my most comfortable um, and just my favorite helmet so I will be bringing this one and I will be taking it in its little bag here it's really good to have some sort of cover or bag or some sort of protection for your helmet um, if you are traveling with it because they are very delicate fragile objects so you want to be really careful with them next are half chaps and paddock boots or tall boots now personally i own both but i will just be bringing paddock boots and chaps because first of all they're easier to travel with and take up much less space and also i think just you know maybe they're not as expensive so for somewhere like camp where things might be kind of um not treated as well as they should be um if you have a really expensive paddock boots or something like that, then you, or a really expensive tall boots, you might not want to bring them. So I'm just bringing my half chops. These are actually not the half chops I'm bringing. I just have my other ones downstairs. So I thought I'd just show you these ones, but, um, a pair of half chaps are great. Again, if you are just starting riding and you don't have these types of things, I would a hundred percent suggest getting them if you are able to, because having equipment that fits you well is really important and definitely something that is worth investing in. If you don't, then, you know, maybe contact the camp and ask if they are able to supply these things. Um, and if they're not, then you are fine with just jeans and a pair of boots with a heel. To go with your chaps, you will need paddock boots. Mine are not in the room with me right now, but you guys all know what paddock boots are, hopefully, and they are definitely an essential if you have your chaps. Next, for like little accessories, a pair of gloves is definitely essential for myself. I personally do like riding in gloves. A lot of people don't. Um, and I think a lot of people don't like riding in gloves because they've had bad experiences with gloves. I bought this pair of gloves. They are the most amazing gloves I've ever had. They're this incredibly soft leather. Um, they, you don't really don't feel like you're riding in gloves, but I think um, somewhere like camp where you're going to be riding at least once a day, maybe twice a day, to have a pair of gloves is a good idea because if you're riding once a week, you most likely aren't getting blisters from your reins, but if you're riding for, 
you know, two or three hours every day, you might start to get blisters. So I would suggest a pair of gloves, but the camp might also have a pair that you can borrow if you don't have your own. This is personal preference and something that some people love and some people hate, but I am someone who loves to ride with my hair up inside my helmet. So especially in the summer, it's not on the back of my neck and, you know, making me hot or getting all sweaty and gross. So hair nets are a 100% essential for me. Um, they're, you can get them for like three or four dollars. Um, so I really don't think that that's a big investment and pretty much anyone can afford that. This is the RWR No Knot hairnet, and I will do a video about how to put your hair up in your helmet if you guys are interested in that. But these are the best helmets because they are like a. Do I just say helmet? <laughs> these are the best hairnets because they are just like a tube, and what you actually do is put this on and then just fold the tube over, and your hair will just fold right onto the top of your head. You can put your helmet on really easily. Um, and it just doesn't cause any bumps or anything and these are just the best. They're about $14. So they are kind of expensive, but I've had this for like a year and a half and it still looks almost perfect. Next, I have another hairnet. If you guys, like this is one of the cheaper hairnets and I like this one if I'm not putting my entire hair up in it, if I'm just putting this on to keep, you know, my hair out of my face like up here. So this one is just like a cheap one. And this one actually comes with a little hair elastic that's in a corresponding color. So if you want to use that, that is a good thing. The next thing I have and will be bringing is just my vest or my safety vest, my protection vest, whatever you want to call it. This is just the temporary eventer vest. Um, you guys have probably seen these in cross country. That's where they are typically used. I personally wear them every time I jump. Um, it is just a safety precaution that I personally feel much better having. Um, so bringing this to camp is also, you know, really important to me because A, my parents will not be there. And I know that might not make sense to a lot of you, but you know, if something were to happen, I, would I just I like having that extra feeling of safety so this will be coming with me this will be worn in my lessons when I jump and I just think it's a great idea to have the next thing I'll be bringing with me and again something that's definitely not mandatory but something I really like having are belts I will be bringing three belts because I really like riding in a belt I just feel much more kind of professional and put together um, and especially somewhere like camp Personally for me, um, it is somewhere where I like to look maybe even more professional than I would typically. So I just have a brown leather belt here and it just has a silver buckle, looks like this. Then I have my bit belt, which is a really cool belt. I have no idea where this is from. I got it as a gift, but it's really cool. It just has this bit here as the buckle and it is just black. And then I just have my black leather shell belt um, that I will be bringing as well. The next thing I would strongly advise you bring is some sort of rain jacket or um, sort of like soft shell uh, windbreaker because you know you may be going in the middle of summer and it may be a hundred degrees the day you leave but anything can happen and I've definitely learned that um, at camps before. So I just be, will be bringing my Ariat um, soft shell jacket. I love this because it is waterproof, but it's also um, not insulated, but it is a little bit thicker than just your traditional rain jacket. So it will provide a little bit of warmth um, at night or, you know, in case the temperature does drop. Okay, so now for um, t-shirts and things that you will be actually riding in. So riding tops. Personally, my favorite thing to ride in is long sleeve quarter zips. Now this is if you are kind of someone who likes to keep up with like equestrian trends. Um, sun shirts, sun shirts um, are the big fad right now. I personally don't have any because I'm not spending $99 on a shirt just so it has mesh under the arms. But I have this one from the North Face and it is just this burgundy color and it has this like 
it's just made of this super super thin sort of jersey material it's super cool in the summer um, it keeps you nice and cool while you're riding it's comfortable um, I just love everything about this so tops like this are perfect if you aren't able to find shirts like that because they aren't the easiest thing to come across another really good thing um, to ride in are polo shirts so this one is actually an, like an official polo shirt um, it's by the US Polo Association and it's just white with like black on it and then this pink um, number three on it and it's just playing the back this is a really nice polo shirt and polos like this are kind of hard to find um, but polos like this are really easy to find this is from campus crew you can get them from American Eagle Aeropostale anywhere like that um, they are just simple they just have buttons and a collar really anything with a collar just looks really nice and professional um, and are really great things to ride in and of course if you're really stuck and you don't know what the heck to bring to ride in as a shirt t-shirts always work um, I wouldn't really suggest tank tops I think for a few reasons one it is just a little bit too much in my opinion and this is just my opinion it's a little bit too much skin to show um, if you are in a professional setting which in my opinion camp is a professional setting also for sun damage reasons um, you can be out in the sun on your horse and think that oh I'm moving so I'm not gonna get burnt or whatever trust me it happens I always have crazy farmers tans from riding and that's wearing a t-shirt so I can't imagine how burnt I would be if I was wearing a tank top so I would advise against tank tops but if that is something that you know people other people at your camp are doing or you feel comfortable with then absolutely go ahead and do that now for sort of like um, sort of under your riding clothes I would really suggest sports bras I think sports bras are great for riding because they do provide that like extra support but they also just make sure everything looks very like you know nice and sleek under your riding clothes because riding clothes we all know are typically kind of t on the tight side um, and they kind of show every little, little bump so something like a sports bra is good to just you know keep everything flat and just much more comfortable as well if you are doing a physical activity also socks you long socks I mean I think that would probably be one of the biggest mistakes you could make going to riding camp is to only bring ankle socks I'm telling you right now don't do it you will have the listers out of your mind riding socks they don't have to be riding socks I have a pair here that are just tall argyle socks and these actually work probably better than most of the, the riding socks I own I personally don't mind the whole really really thin nylon riding socks but I do prefer a sock like this so if you guys have you know maybe really really tight boots or chaps that barely fit around your leg I would suggest these if not I would definitely go with a thicker pair also depending on the season and how warm it's going to be so obviously ever so other than everything I've shown you, there are other things you will obviously need to bring, such as a bathing suit, shorts, t-shirts, pajamas, things like that. I'm not going to get into that because I think most of you know what you're doing when it comes to packing things like that. Also, um, toiletries such as like your toothbrush and a face cloth and shampoo and conditioner are really important things to remember. That is if you're staying overnight. Also, um, things like a hat are a really important thing to bring just for sun protection, sunscreen, all those things. You can definitely go find lists. I mean, I'm sure people have made big, huge lists about all the things you should bring. There are a few things I would advise against bringing. A lot of, most camps now um, actually won't allow you to bring things such as your phones, your iPads, um, electronics basically and I think personally that's for good reason La I mean I am someone who loves my phone trust me and last year at camp I left it at home and I was so busy and having so much fun that I totally didn't think about it so if you think maybe that it's going to be hard for you to leave your phone behind trust me I really don't think it's going to be that big of a deal if you are someone that wants to, you know, get in touch with your parents while you're away, maybe it's your first time going away for a week, 
um, without your parents or something, then definitely let the camp know that and there probably will be a way for you to either talk to them on the phone or email them or send them letters or something like that. Um, there are ways around bringing your phone. Plus, it's just not something you want to have to worry about, um, you know, getting stolen or things like that. Also, personally, I don't bring grooming things to camp because I just don't think it's necessary having, you know, your brushes with you because the camp, I can guarantee the camp will supply that because they don't expect people to have those things and it's just a lot to carry back and forth especially if you are traveling far for your camp. So I think that's everything I have to show you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it was helpful. If you are headed off to camp, I hope you guys have a wonderful time. I know you'll have so much fun and I hope you learn lots about horses. I'll see you guys next time.